Hey, how's it going my friends? My name is Philip and today it's Risky Business. Welcome back to Travel Talk, the channel where we discuss everything travel and I answer all your questions. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing and you won't miss out on any future videos and valuable content. Right, so I said risky business. And as we all know, travel could be very risky depending on your preparation and also your destination. Behind me, you can see I have the travel risk map of 2017. It is the latest and most updated version of this map. And if you stick around and watch until the end of the video, I'll tell you how you can get your own copy. It shows you entire world, all the countries, and it has all the medical and security information you would need to keep yourself safe on your travels. So let's have a look. Let's look at medical first and you will see the countries are color coded. Purple for rapidly developing variable risk countries. That means some of the capital cities, larger cities might have good medical care while the rest of the country might not have. The green for low medical risk countries you'll find all over Europe, United States, Australia and pretty much all the first world countries. The medium medical risk countries are marked in yellow as appropriate standard of care but only selected providers. The high medical risk countries marked in orange as basic medical services, dental care might be available but specialist care is limited. Then the countries marked in red, the very high medical risk countries, where healthcare is almost non-existent or severely overtaxed. And best just to avoid these countries. Now let's look at the security risk keys. The countries marked with the symbol I for insignificant travel risk. These countries, the rates of violent crimes are very low and there's no significant political violence or civil unrest expected. The low travel risk countries marked with the symbol L and violent crime rates are low. Political violence and civil unrest is also uncommon. The medium travel risk countries marked with the symbol M can have political unrest, violent protest, insurgency and sporadic act of terrorism. Countries marked with the key H are high travel risk countries. Protests are frequent, violent and may target and disrupt foreigners directly. Extreme travel risk countries are marked with a key of E. And the government control the law and order and may be minimal or non-existent across large areas. You will see the Chevron sign for regional variations where the travel security risk zones are areas within the country where the risks faced by travelers and international assignees are different from the country's overall risk environment. Further information you'll find that is extremely useful are the locations of all the international SOS assistance centers across the world. They are staffed by doctors and nurses, security specialists, and can give you 24 seven medical travel and security services and assistance in over a hundred languages all over the world. There you go. Very easy to use, but very important to have and to look at when you plan your next trip. If you want your own copy of this map, all you have to do is click on the link below and you can download the PDF file. Print it out, have a look at it when you plan your next trip. Until we speak again, stay safe, Keep healthy. Happy travels. You can see behind me, I have the 2017 travel risk help. Travel risk map. Travel risk map. Travel risk map. Travel risk map. Travel risk map.